Hello everyone's everyone's. I am here for Love and Hip Hop Atlanta Season 8 Episode 9. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you're a family member, you're one of my peoples, welcome back. So BK has just got the devastated news that Sierra 2 has cheated on him. Like he can't even look at her. All you can see is his beard, which looks weird because whatever he's doing to his beard is just very distracting to me. He got his eyes covered. It's like she the perfect woman. Like I know I'm a low down dirty dog, but I would never think that she would cheat on me like I've been cheating on her. Like, he just can't take it. Like, how dare you? It's like, that ain't that a man for you? And cheat on you left, down, left, right, up, and down. But you go out here and cheat, and it's the end of the world. He is so heartbroken. Mm. But Sierra's like, I know we both cheated, but he cheated again. And I need to keep my distance so I can sort out my feelings. I was like, okay, since he cheated more than you. That makes a difference in how you feeling about him. Like, I, I can't even be around you right now. I know I had my indiscretions, but you've been at her doing these indiscretions. And I just, I can't look at you. I can't be around with you. But here go, here go Kirk and Rashida. Now, not only are they the host of this trip, I guess they're going to give some little words of wisdom, try to give a little counseling. And what I got out of it is, yeah, your spouse may have cheated on you, but we're here to tell you, you too can work through the cheating in your relationship. That's all I got from them. I'm telling you, I was like looking at them like, really, we're supposed to take advice from you guys when it comes to cheating. I guess, you know, they are the experts when it comes to cheating because Kirk has been cheating in some way, shape, or fashion, whether it's actual cheating sexually or out here in a hot tub kissing on females. But, you know, you too can learn to forgive once you've been cheated on. That's what I was getting when Kirk and Rashid was trying to get their advice. I just, it's very comical that we were in the cabins and we're trying to, you know, show other ones that you too can forgive when, you, when you've been cheated on. So, Carly, she is responsible for all this mess. So, it is, you know, ever fitting that she should be here to take responsibility for what she's done. Like, everybody who is mad at this point, Carly has something to do with it. She's the one that said that BK and Pooh hooked up. She is the one that said that she was, you know, Jock was out here at hotels, you know, showing his private parts to her. And she's not a lie, but they are, she's not going to be out here lying. She's just telling the truth, whether I want to accept the truth or not. And this is when Carly and Kendra get into it. And Kendra was basically like, don't let this law degree fool you. I got hands and I will dog walk you up and down this cabin. Don't try me. And of course, Carly, she has security. She this she's not new to this. You know, she knows if I get the fussing and fighting, security will hold her back and security will hold me back. That way, you know, there will be actually no fighting. I may or may not be able to throw something, which she did. She took a shoe and it almost hit see it almost hit um Kendra. And it flew past Bambi. Now, Bambi's mad like, hold up now. I ain't even got nothing to do with that. Like, I know you mad, but remember that there's other people in the direction, mainly me. And I almost got hit by this shoe. Kendra gets up because she's like, oh, so we throwing shoes. Had this shoe even hit me the slightest, had that shoe grazed past me and hit my hair, I would have been on you. And I'm not playing, but Jockey's trying to, like, calm her down, like, don't don't stoop down to Carly's level. Carly, she is miserable right now. Misery loves company. That's all she's trying to do. Don't let her. Don't let her show how angry you are. Don't like, don't give her that. That's what Carly. Carly thrives off this. Carly thrives off being you know messy. She tried to say that she was she was no longer messy when her and Mo was actually working. You know they was everything was cool between them. But you know it was you know lying dormant in her, and it was just waiting to explode and come out and be messy. Exactly how it did. But I do say I, 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 a little bit of part of me wanted Kendra to be you know able to get over her and get Carly to let her know you know you didn't you mess with the wrong one. Like. Right. So, Akbar is still mad that females flew here and she grew here. 
and you know she's performing now Tokyo she didn't did her performance you know she wouldn't shade on nobody she went up there did her thing got the applause she needed and went on about her business but Akbar since she grew here and Spice and Tokyo flew here she stops mid song to do a freestyle about them flying here and her growing here and I'm like, really, at one point she was talking about, so I'm the mama, you the daughter, you on curfew, I'm the queen, I grew here, you flew here. Tokyo takes the mic and like, excuse me, who are you talking to? Because I know it ain't Tokyo over here. I know you're not over talking to me. So these two went back and forth. But the thing is, security was more focused on with Tokyo and what Akbar had going on, they wasn't looking at Spice. As Spice was, the cameraman was looking, but security wasn't. They weren't noticing that Spice was taking off her shoes and was running full force to leap on couches to get to Akbar. She didn't get to Akbar, but she almost did. But my question, if we use in logic of, you know, you grew here, which is Atlanta, and they flew here. So... Say your music does start making it and you have to tour. So if you would have to perform in Louisiana, in New Orleans, are you going to contact Tokyo since you know that's our city and she grew there and you flew there? Are you going to contact her to be like, hey, I'm in your city. Do I get permission to move, you know, to be there? When you come to Texas, you know, in Houston, are you going, you know, ask Beyonce, can you be there? I'm just using your logic, you know, you the, you the queen of Atlanta, your words, not mine. So when you go to different cities, the, the female rappers that are there, are you going to ask for permission to be there? I'm using your logic. You didn't think about that, did you? No, you didn't. Because you want this whole, you know, I flew here, you grew here type of situation. But I was kind of hoping that, you know... Spice will get a little lick in because Akbar thinking a little too highly of yourself. I know you should be, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of right now. You know, you should think, yeah, I'm good at what I do. You know, be proud of yourself. But you over acting like you the best thing since sliced bread. Like you the best rapper that's been ever known to walk this earth. And I know I shouldn't say this, and I know I'm going to re regret saying this, but you over here talking about you all these queens and stuff. Queens don't need their cousins to give them first, last, and secure deposit on their apartment. I, um, not Arwa, but Tokyo, she had her nice little apartment going on. Still, nice little studio apartment. But you needed your cousins first, last, and a security deposit. Like, what, what queen does that, Akbar? You just let me know, girl. So, we see her. Now, she over talking to Sagira, and she's completely rewritten re re history. Like, let her tell it. She was at the showcase, minding her business, you know, doing her little ditty as she does. And she looks in the audience, and, you know, Tokyo and Spice. Or somehow and way or other, basically like, we want to fight you. You know, we want to throw hands with you. Can we do this right now in the middle of your showcase? Like, this, this is what she's doing. Like, now she's talking about some, I didn't even know Tokyo was a rapper. I thought she was um, an uh, Instagram comedian. And seriously, like, you know, good doggone well, she knew she was a rapper. She'd been out here rapping. She has songs about her. People know who she is. Like, I'm the queen of Atlanta. I'm just waiting for my key to the city. I'm like, Candy. And all that she's done in music, Grammys, and all such. I don't remember at any time Candy calling herself the Queen of Atlanta. Tiny has Grammys under her belt. TLC has Grammys up under her belt. I can't think of another Atlanta female rapper and or singer at this moment. But these people who are actually making music out here, who have written or have, you know, um produce or have sung or rap a song are not out here calling themselves queen but you ma'am are out here doing all these things and i don't even know a song of yours 
and you need a first, last, and sincere security problem from your cousin. But you want these people out here to respect you. Now, I know people have hard times and we need a little help every time again. But the way you're acting, you putting yourself way up there and you ain't even made it, Akbar. So lastly, we got to talk to Pooh. Pooh, she says she's not going to apologize to Carly for what she did, but she will have a talk with her. So she has this little shindig, if you will, and she invited the girls. But Sierra's like, she not going because she bad because Pooh and BK slept together. He wanted to sleep with Pooh. Pooh wanted to sleep with him. We not really sure, but Pooh and Carly get into it. Pooh says that Carly messed up her sheets and owe her $750. She sleeps on expensive sheets. And you messed up my sheets, so run me my coins. That's what Pooh says. So, I'm like, well, Carly, you, you made your match. With, and you can find somebody who is just as messy as you and Pooh. Yeah. One point, Mo and Carly, they kind of made up. But I'm like, I was so done and over with Carly the way she was acting at the trip. I wanted to blame it on hormones because she just had this miscarriage. But I'm just going to, you know, just say that was just plum Carly being the messy person that she is. And we're not going to blame that on anything else. Sierra says she's done with BK. She's tired of him cheating. Yes, she had her indiscretion, but she just tired of him in general and she ain't got time for him no more. We're going to see what he does to get her back, but that was the just. Now, y'all, is Stevie J on the show no anymore? I missed the first two episodes where he may possibly be on there, but we ain't seen CBJ. We ain't even brought up Stevie J's name in these episodes that I've been watching. So y'all drop that below. As well, if I left anything out, drop it below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It is free all day, every day, free 99. If you're returning, you're a family member, one of my peoples, welcome back. Tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.